Hey everyone, welcome to World Heritage Journey. Today we're at Muskau Park in Germany and Poland. So this is a large landscaped garden park about six square kilometers in area and it sits literally in both Germany and Poland either side of a river. It was set up in the early 19th century by a local aristocrat named Prince Hermann von Puckler Muskau. He was credited with revolutionizing landscape design across the world, so let's check it out. So the park largely dates from the early 19th century. Most of it was constructed between about 1815 and 1845, when unfortunately Puckler ran out of money and was forced to sell his beloved park. Now, what you can see behind me is the new Schloss or the new palace, and this was designed as the centerpiece for the whole area. It's actually a reconstructed medieval fortress dating from around the 13th century, though what we can see today is actually a reconstruction. Unfortunately, this whole area was the scene of very heavy fighting right at the end of World War II as part of the battle for Berlin, and so the bridges and the castles in the park were destroyed. So who was Prince Pukla? Well, he was an aristocrat that was quite well-traveled for the era. It wasn't uncommon for aristocrats to go traveling in the early 19th century, but even by the standards of the time, he was exceptionally well-traveled, having done his grand tour of Italy, of France, and of England, but also traveling all across North Africa as well. And when he eventually purchased land here in 1811 and settled down, he decided to create the perfect landscape and his ideas on landscape gardening continue to influence us today. That's things like using trees of different sizes to create a foreground, a middle ground, and a background, sort of like in the theater, but also using paths to go around natural obstacles to make them look really natural, even though they may not be. And of course, things like landscaping in hills and bays to create beautiful viewpoints. So we're standing now on a landmark known as the Double Bridge. And when I mentioned earlier that this World Heritage Site was in both Poland and Germany split by a river, well, this is the river. It's the river Nysa, and on this side is Germany, on that side is Poland. Now, of course, when the park was originally set up, the whole area was just part of Prussia, and so it wasn't an issue. And then in 1945, at the end of World War II, all of the bridges across the river in this area were destroyed. One was rebuilt, and this one wasn't actually rebuilt until 1988. Well, it's been a lovely day here. It's really warm, it's sunny, it's a Saturday in late summer, and the place is just full of locals out walking and riding their bikes and enjoying themselves. And that's what we've been doing too, which has been really nice. And it's really interesting to see because it does feel quite modern here. It's obviously much more advanced than the French formal gardens that you often see associated with palaces and castles. And even the English gardens that came after, this feels a little bit more modern than that, mainly because there's not quite as many follies and it's a little bit more obviously designed than once you know what to look for, I suppose. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more from the World Heritage Journey. I'll see you next time.